This is Xiaomi's most advanced IP security camera. This camera has the highest video resolution among Xiaomi cameras so far and also it has the largest micro SD card capacity. Its camera resolution is comparable to Stapo C320WS and Xiaomi says it can record 2.5K video. Is this good? Your support for this channel motivates me to continue producing videos and reviewing products for our homes. Click the subscription button if you haven't yet. Also, watch my other videos on several IP security camera models that I have reviewed and installed at home. This video is divided into chapters. You may skip portions that you are already familiar with like setup and pairing. Xiaomi has released two lines of smart security cameras for our homes this past few months, the Xiaomi C-Series model and the Xiaomi AW series. Both are now available globally. The AW series are fixed cameras and it's for outdoor, while the C-series are motorized just like the previous 360 camera series which are for indoor use. Xiaomi also dropped the shortcut Mi for this new lineup of cameras and instead use its full name Xiaomi as the brand name. And the latest to be released during the first quarter of 2023 is the Xiaomi C400. This is a 4 megapixel camera and supports Xiaomi's highest micro SD card capacity of 256 gigabytes. The support for the increased storage capacity is a departure of Mi cameras from the usual 32 to 64 gigabytes micro SD card capacity. Hence, this Xiaomi C400 is more or less comparable to Tapo C320WS. Although the Tapo C320WS is for outdoor use while the Xiaomi C400 is an indoor camera, I put the two side by side temporarily for comparison to give more context to this video. Both being a 4MP cameras can produce 2560 by 1440 video resolution or what we call as QHD or Quad High Definition. This is commonly known as 2K video. Xiaomi call it as 2.5K and attempt to differentiate it with the 3MP cameras that produces 2304 by 1296 video resolution which is also considered as 2K just like what the Mi 360 Toki Pro can do. The 2560 by 1440 resolution is only 3,686,400 pixels or only about 3.7 megapixels. But for marketing purposes, both Xiaomi and Tapo rounded it off to 4 megapixels. The Xiaomi C400 uses a very large aperture of 1.4 just like the Tuki Pro which is the largest so far among Xiaomi cameras. This means the C400 works well under low light condition. Comparing with the Tapo C320WS which has an aperture of 2.2. Xiaomi continues to use 940 nanometer infrared sensors which means it hides the red glow of the sensor. Tapo C320WS uses 850 nanometer sensors, hence the red glow is obvious. However, the 850 nm sensors is said to be better in performance than the 940 nm sensors. In fact, Tapo's night vision sensors can reach up to 30 meters while there's no information regarding this on Xiaomi's sensors. And here's the night vision shots comparison of the two cameras. I put the Xiaomi C400 under night vision mode and also the uh, Tapo C320WS is also on night vision mode. I turn, the, I turn off the uh, uh, LED light of the camera so that I could get a good comparison between the two cameras. So this is the Tapo C320WS night vision shot while this is the Xiaomi C400 night vision shot. Um, again, we can uh, see, clearly see that the shot of the C400 is tighter because it's not as wide as the Tapo C320 WS, but the contrast of the image is sharper 
as compared to uh, the Tapos C320WS. However, the Tapos C320WS has a better uh, image when it comes to uh, area which is already a distance from the camera. If you compare that with the Tapos C400, looks like it's dimmer or darker. Uh, let's try to tilt up. Let's see. I can... Uh, the camera... Yeah. It looks like uh, the C320WS of Tapo can have a better image even at a quarter distance because again, the Tapo night vision sensors can reach up to 30 meters. Maybe that's basically the reason why uh, Tapo has a better image uh, at a distance. During daytime, this is what the camera looks like. If you compare the C400 with the uh, Tapos C320WS, it looks like uh, the contrast of the C400 is much, uh, let's say, deeper. Look at the uh, leaves of the mulberry tree. It's so green while uh, the uh, C320WS of TAPO, it's, the contrast is not so vivid and the color is not as green as what the uh, C400 uh, got it. But the TAPO camera C320WS has a focal length of 3.89 millimeters. It is considered in the middle as far as field, field of view is concerned. Field of view means the area of coverage the camera can see in a particular scene. So in this comparison, it's clear that TAPO is wider than Xiaomi C400. Look at the, the sides. We knew uh, compare that with uh, C400, the shot is more tight, it's, it's tighter than the uh, Tapu uh, C320WS. However, the C400 is offsetting this lack of wide angle with its capability to rotate horizontally up to 360 degrees and vertically up to 160 degrees now let's try to zoom in this is the zoom in i can do the ptz or uh, pinching on screen so this is the zoom in look at the color and we'll transfer to c320ws and we'll also zoom in look at the difference okay you can see there there's more light on the C400 as compared to the TAPO C320WS. So it's all, it's all clear. During nighttime at full color, the C400 seems uh, to have this darker uh, foreground. If you compare this with the TAPO C320WS, the foreground is very clear. You can see some items there. And also the background of the scene is so bright and it's brighter than the background taken by the C400. The C400 is not really good for outdoors if your intention is uh, security. I'm posting this video so that we could zoom into the license plate of the vehicle. All it gets is white surface. It may be the intensity of the sunlight that wash out the image of the license plate. On the C320WS of TAPO, this is what the front of the vehicle looks like. We'll zoom in. You see there, there's a plate number. <laughs> 
So uh, it's all white right if we uh, watch the video taken by the uh, C400 of Xiaomi as compared to this video taken by Tapo C320 WS. Initially, I turned on the notification for both the motion and person detections of the C400 for this review, and here's the result. But if you check my notification panel, <laughs> I'm full of notification, motion detected, a lot of motion detected here from Xiaomi cameras. If we check the uh, surveillance video, we can see here a lot of motion detected uh, clips, and there's only one person detected. If you check the motion detected here, let's check if well, what, what has been recorded uh, on the leaves that are swinging. This one also leaves in here there's a light from the car and it was detected as motion so a lot of motion detection here in other words your notification bar and your uh, surveillance video will be full of notices uh, about motion detection to avoid uh, a lot of motion detection notification on your notification bar you can just turn off the notification for motion you go to home monitoring then you go to event notification type then you turn off the motion detector just like what I am doing now so that you'll be uh, minimizing the notifications only the person detection can be uh, notified on your uh, notification notification bar here like in my other cameras, human or person detection on the Xiaomi C400 is not perfect. Uh, person detected, we try to check if there's a person detected here. No, it was just the uh, valve that was detected. I have here a person detected, and that's me in my front yard. It's not a person, and it's not human, but it's a bird. But due to, maybe due to its proximity to the camera, the, there's a large movement of the bird uh, in front of the camera, so it was detected as human or person. The C400 is the second camera of Xiaomi next to the 362 Key Pro that has human tracking. So it follows me. I'm moving. Okay, so it's a similar to uh, the Mate Tokyo Pro. Also, it's not tracking the movements of pet, unlike the Tokyo Pro in this video, which follow the movements of pets. It may be an advantage for the C400 being tracking only to human. But on the other hand, people like me also wants to track movements by pets inside the house. Even on large pet, the camera won't uh, detect it as uh, human. I programmed the C400 camera under automation rules on the Mi Home app to play a sound on the Mi Control hub whenever it detects human. And also it will light up the Mi bulb in my door whenever it detects human at night time. Oh, we'll add a, an automation. Add if the Mi C400 detects a human, then um, Control Hub will play the signated ringtone. Okay, that's the sound. Then another is if the Mi C400 that takes emotion, then let's say this lamp will turn on and off. 
The C400 camera being a new device should also be configured on Google Home so that it will be located in the proper room. So I have to link that, add to home, Aldea, check, then move device, I put that on the, in the front chart. So it's done already. Now if you go to the fork, if you can see here above, there are already four cameras instead of three. If I'm going to open that, then all my cameras are displayed on Google Home. This is the latest uh, feature of uh, Google Home as a support to uh, Xiaomi cameras. Although there are times that uh, connection is a problem like this. For example, the, my, my magnetic camera was not, uh, it's not available, but you can, right? I can retry uh, that for that. It's because my bedroom camera's uh, internet signal is not good because it, it's in the uh, second floor of my house. You must link your Xiaomi account with Google Home to interact your Xiaomi devices with other devices that are already on Google Home. Doing that also allows you to stream Xiaomi cameras on Google Nest Hub. Okay, you can see here under cameras on Google Nest Hub. Um, the Mi C400 is already added, so we we'll, we'll try to uh, to stream. Just like other Xiaomi cameras, it took some time to uh, stream uh, Xiaomi cameras. It's because of uh, connection to the server of Xiaomi. It's most likely uh, in uh, Singapore, if you are in the Philippines. By the way, the C400 can also be viewed on the Xiaomi Viewer app on Windows computers. Another big addition to the Xiaomi C400 is the 5 GHz connectivity aside from the usual 2.4 GHz. This seems followed the footstep of the Toki Pro which has both the 2.4 GHz and the 5 GHz Wi-Fi connections. As usual, I do the log test and set the beginning of the videos for both C400 and C320WS at 10.20.57 in the morning. Both time clocks are synchronized to network time. I earlier set the C400 to the faster 5 GHz Wi-Fi while Tapo C320 WS has been connected to 2.4 GHz ever since, although it also has LAN connectivity. And here's the comparison. Surprisingly, Tapo C320 WS is lagging by only a fraction of a second or about 24 frames the most and that speed can still be increased once you connect the C320 WS via LAN. The Xiaomi C400 also boasts the large diameter of its speakers that delivers stereo sound quality and would supposedly improve the voice call between the camera and the phone. But the C400 has only one microphone unlike the Mi 2 Key Pro that has a second mic for noise reduction. Xiaomi says the mic can pick up voice up to 5 meter distance. I'm about 5 meters from the camera on this video. In this recording, I was just below the two cameras talking to a husky on the loose. Hey. Hey, you are behind? Huh? Husky! Husky! Hey, you are behind? Huh? Husky! Husky! I tried the two-way voice call, but I'm not impressed with its performance. Okay, that's all. Oh. Oh. It seems the audio is affected by its human tracking just like the Me Too Keep Pro. Oh.
Balik daw. Xiaomi is generous. It gives free 3-month rolling cloud storage composed of 9-second videos that were caused by detections on a 24-7 basis. This means a lot of storage aside from the increased micro SD card capacity. However, let me clarify, the free cloud storage is only good for the first 3 months and after that, detected surveillance video clips need a subscription of the Xiaomi Home Secure. The rate starts at 140 pesos a month. If you are familiar with video recording, saving, and downloading on Xiaomi cameras, you may now skip this chapter. This is the viewing page of the C400 camera. Below, you can read uh, surveillance, playback, and storage management. Uh, if you open surveillance, you can see here um, several video clips, but these clips are very short. These are the ones detected by the camera and it is saved on the cloud. For three months, this is for free, but after three months, you could no longer see video clips on this page. So let's, for example, if you open motion detected, that particular uh, clip will only run for nine seconds, okay? Now, if you're going to tap the screen, you can see there at the right-hand corner, a scissor sign that's for snapshot so if you tap that you'll create a snapshot then uh, there's an arrow an envelope with an arrow above that means uh, you're going to uh, share that particular clip uh, by using uh, different platforms then there's also an arrow down that means downloading so you can download this particular video clip and also um, there's a delete button here or delete icon so you can delete that then uh, below uh, there's a playback uh, button here and also the speaker sign so if you tap that that will create sounds or you can hear sounds then tap it again you can mute that time is one this is the speed of the playback now, if you go to playback, playback, you can see there the timeline, so you can scroll the timeline if you want. The yellow bar or line means motion detected. The green ones is the person detected. There is no baby crying detection uh, on the Xiaomi C400, unlike the Mi Pro, uh, Mi 362 Pro. Then uh, below is the uh, playback video. So all playback videos are here. So by dates, uh, that's for today, uh, yesterday, and so on and so forth. You can also uh, shortcut your way to uh, the previous dates by tapping the calendar at the right hand corner and you can select the last uh, recorded uh, videos then up at the right hand corner is the pencil sign that's for selection if you want to select any of these uh, materials here uh, the option is only delete uh, if you want to save what you're going to do is uh, open a particular uh, events then at the right hand corner there's the edit sign you tap that then you select the particular video you're going to save and you can see down there there's a save and delete once you click the save button uh, you can see here at the local tab uh, at the above above you can see here cloud local and sd card at local you can see there the downloading of the materials and below is the download downloaded uh, video so the, the, this is the one that we downloaded, uh, 1313. And if you're going to go to your gallery, you check to your gallery, you can find uh, that particular video on the Mi Home folder for the C400. This is the one with the orange sign. If you open that, then there's the video that we had uh, recorded or downloaded. Okay. Setting up the C400 and pairing it with the Mi Home app is similar to other Xiaomi cameras. If you are already familiar with this, you may skip this walkthrough and proceed to the next chapter. I'm turning this on. The code here is Type-C. Power on. Now 
powered on. You can see here O-rings, that's power on. It's rotating. Please use the mobile phone scan a QR code on the board and labor it. And the configuration interface. That's blinking, that means um, it's searching for uh, a network. Okay, so that is waiting for us to be to be not connected. We'll have to go to the app first. And it's, this is the first time for a Xiaomi camera that has a voice from both in English and in Chinese. Okay, I'm opening now the Xiaomi uh, or the Mi Home app. Then you can see there Plus has uh, an indicator that it discovers a, uh, a device, a new device. That means we have to open that and a device. Then it automatically uh, found the Xiaomi Smart Camera C400. Now you can choose actually the network. It's either 5G or 2.4 gigahertz. This is uh, similar to the uh, Xiaomi Camera 360 Toki Pro that has uh, a dual uh, Wi-Fi connectivity, 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz. So we'll try the uh, 5 gigahertz. It's now connecting. And let us scan the QR code is at the bottom of the device. Okay. Okay, it says that the uh, connection has been successful. Um, I'll be putting this uh, initially at the front yard so that I could compare this with the um, Tapo C320WS, which is the only 4MP camera so far in my uh, home before I bought this C400. Then uh, I'll just name this as Xiaomi C400 to make it short. Next. Then uh, display large cards on the home page. Next. So it's done and I have to agree. It is similar to other Xiaomi cameras with surveillance, playback and storage management. Then we can also set the password for the camera. I am not putting a password for the camera. Then there's a three button menu here. If you press that, then you will open the settings. So let's try the camera settings. Um, status light. So that's basically turn on. Then data uses warning, only play the videos automatically when Wi-Fi is connected. When you, if you turn that on, then uh, the videos can only play when your phone or your app is connected with uh, Wi-Fi. Um, I am suggesting you should not turn that on because uh, there are times that you are outside or away from your home. If you set this to Wi-Fi only, then you cannot play while you are outside your home or you're away from home. Okay, so don't, do not turn that on. Uh, PTG, PTZ gesture, you should uh, enable that because uh, you need to uh, navigate the camera using the screen sometimes. There's step set settings here, uh, don't uh, just that. And there's image uh, settings, uh, it's just the same with other uh, Xiaomi camera. You can rotate the image once you put this on your ceiling, so you can just invert the uh, below, you can read here, rotate. Then wide dynamic range mode, uh, you can turn that on. But the wide dynamic range won't work when you're in night vision mode because uh, 
the WDR displays color image and you'll go to the night vision settings full color with blue light the setting will be uh, a full color image can still be achieved under poor lighting conditions I suggest you should turn that on so that it will always be in uh, color unless uh, your uh, camera automatically switches to night vision so you have the options below for the unite vision it's either you switch automatically or you should always full on or full color function okay uh, I mean if it's always on then the full color function is not available because you are turning always the night vision and also there's off I suggest you should uh, select switch automatically okay then camera calibration for the first time you're going to use your camera then uh, you can uh, calibrate it I'm not using gimbal so let's just I try to uh, calibrate it so it's calibrated already let's go back to the settings camera settings then there's a the human tracking this camera is similar to the 2K Pro because it has human tracking okay you should turn that on the camera follows when a human is detected you should always turn that on then pop-up window um, you can see here there's a pop-up window so every time you push that you select that then you will be uh, showing or it will show a inset or picture on, in picture video of the camera now this is the home page uh, let's try to check if ah okay so the C400 is added you can see here it's added so I have already four uh, Xiaomi cameras the first one was Mi 360 camera which is 1080p then next I bought the uh, uh, Mi 2K Pro camera then the latest or the recent was the magnetic camera and finally this Xiaomi C400 for home monitoring you have to turn that on then there's monitoring time 24 hours okay that's 24 hours partition sensitivity rate settings I would suggest uh, to evaluate you for you to evaluate the, uh, the the environment if it needs low or high sensitivity in my case I'm planning to put this in the front yard, so I just put it in low because uh, there's so much traffic outside. <laughs> okay. Alarm interval um, it could be 10 minutes, 30 minutes, 5 minutes, 3 minutes. I think 5 minutes is so intrusive, so 10 minutes is okay. Then detection, uh, you can turn that on. Then event notification type, there's motion detected, and there's also person detected in surveilled area then next is manage storage uh it says here not enough storage just anyway that's uh, uh the capacity is only 29 gig okay then my recording here is always record you can also uh format the sd card here so this is just temporary i'll be buying a uh, much higher uh, capacity card then you have your Xiaomi Home Secure. This is a program of Xiaomi for subscription. If you want to add more uh, storage, then you can subscribe to it. It's a cloud storage service of Xiaomi. The cheapest is 140 pesos a month. That includes already the seven day event video history. So device name, C400 managed location. I already put that on the front yard share device if you again if you sh want to share this with your uh, uh, members of your household automation you can add automation here firmware update let's check if there's an update uh, it says here it's the latest help and feedback again as i'm saying uh, you can uh, uh, look for any uh, solution if there are problems there are questions here or there are uh, key points here that is listed most probably these are the common problems feedback by the users additional settings the this is for the uh, network connection and add to home screen 
if you want to add this to your home screen on your phone, I'm not going to add that. Time zone, this is very important, so be sure that you are at plus eight. That's our uh, location. Again, this is the viewing page of the C400. If you tap the screen, you can see there there's a power button. If you tap that, then the uh, camera will turn off. Then there's, there's also a speaker button here. If you tap that, it will create or open the, the sounds. And tapping that again, that is mute. Then 2.5K, this is the quality of the video. You can change that to auto or 480p. Uh, whichever you want to select, but for, for ATP is not uh, good in quality, so you choose 2.5 it's K. Then there's the, there's the cursor here, okay? The cursor, uh, what we call is joystick. By the way, the Xiaomi C400 is priced at 2,900 pesos on Xiaomi Global Store. I earned a little discount and bought it at less than 2,800 pesos. The C400 has a big resemblance with the old 360 camera series of Xiaomi. It has a 2 meter cord, but it has no USB charger or adapter. So you need to buy one. The manual says here that we need a 5 volt 2 ampere uh, power supply for this. Xiaomi should have had included it in the package. Then the unit looks like the usual uh, Xiaomi 360 camera series. It has a head which is rotating and the base. The base is, um, looks uh, sturdy, it's big. Still, the uh, micro SD card is found under the lens here. This camera can uh, support up to 256 gigabytes of micro SD card. That's the highest capacity that uh, so far a Xiaomi camera can support. So if you're going to uh, use a micro SD card here, you should use FAT32. Um, for uh, micro SD card, 64 gigabyte, gigabytes and above, we should uh, reformat it on the camera. For now, I'm going to use uh, a 32 gigabyte uh, micro SD card temporarily. And you should not, uh, you should always turn off the camera when inserting and removing micro SD cards. Um, this is the indicator light, and this is the microphone here. We have, we have your speaker, we have here the reset button, and the uh, USB-C port. Then the base here for the mounting plate. Still, Xiaomi employs dual motor for the pan and tilt movements of the C400 camera. And here's a wrap before ending this video. The C400 is so far the most advanced among Xiaomi IP security cameras when it comes to camera resolution and micro SD card capacity support. However, I really don't know the specific purpose why Xiaomi built this camera. While it's for indoor, but it has no crying baby detection unlike the Mi 2K Pro and also, why it has human tracking, it cannot track pets that homeowners also need to monitor, unlike the Mi 2K Pro. Being a 4MP camera having a 2.5K video resolution is no big difference with other Xiaomi cameras having 2K video resolution. The only major consolation we can get from Xiaomi C400 is its big micro SD card capacity support, which is meant to offset Xiaomi's cancellation of the free cloud storage for detected surveillance videos. If you have questions about Xiaomi's latest camera, please comment below. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel and click that notification bell. Thank you so much. Ako si Jun Tariman. Hi, take